Today's the third and final episode in our series of EdgeCon Recap, and I'm dedicating this this whole episode to Omar Periu. Omar has an incredible story. At I believe he said eight years old, him and his family came over from Cuba into the United States, and he went from nothing, from rowing over on a raft, to millions. Okay, he started out, you know, in in his twenties, he made one hundred and forty seven dollars a month as a personal trainer. And in less in about ten years, he was a multimillionaire. So he he's done. He's walked the walk and talked the talk, and he knows how to uh, how to to do what it takes to to create the life and career that you love. He's he's got an incredible story. So I'm gonna kind of take you through my notes and and just share with you a little bit of the experience of what it was like to to be around somebody who has accomplished some of the things that he has, but is still a down to earth person. I was even so inspired by him that when he made the offer at the end of his speech to to work with him like he, it was an incredible offer i signed up immediately i think i was the first person over to his booth and signed up it, it, like <laughs> yeah it was incredible so anyway let's jump right in he his, the first thing that he brought out is to when uh, you know when somebody asks how you're doing hey how's it going how you doing he said oh we say oh i'm fine i'm okay and he's like no Respond with enthusiasm. At, at least say, oh man, I'm unbelievable. You know, then, you know, it's true whether it's good or bad. You know, unbelievably good or unbelievably bad. It doesn't matter if you're broke as a joke or a multimillionaire. Either way, it's unbelievable. So try that next time. When somebody says, hey, how's it going for you? Be, be, just say, unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and... He he wants to stress like he, the the biggest thing that he brought out is you have what it takes. All you have to do is believe in you, and you can be a winner. You are a winner. You've won. You're you're here today. The fact that you are standing here today or listening to this episode means that you are a winner. So start believing in the wins that you've had in life. If you want something bad enough, you can find a way. You've you've heard the saying where there's a will there's a way, and that and that's true. Like Omar's story bears that to be true. Very true. There's several things in life that um bring make life a little more enjoyable and more fulfilling, and that is your spirituality, your health, your happiness and your money. And he puts them in that order. Spirituality first, like who am I? What am I here for? Then your physical health, how can I do things? Then your happiness, and then the money. And the, and they go in that order. In life and business, we so often, we we wonder why, you know, when business is down, it's like, well, why don't people want, why aren't people hiring me? Or why did I lose my job? Or Or whatever that may be. But he says, when you become valuable, People seek you out. So work on increasing your value. And and he has a big, a nice long process for that on how to become a more valuable person. And the first thing is self-mastery. You know, your brain is your body's steering wheel. So if you can become a bigger container, like expand your brain, God will fill you up. When your self-esteem and your self-image suffers, your confidence is shaken and you quit growing. So... Use your brain to to or allow your brain to become a bigger container. Expand your mind and master the self. Allow God to fill you up. The second thing you need is the right vehicle, meaning the right business or a career or you know whatever that vehicle looks like for you to get you to where you want to go. You can't outwork a vehicle going the wrong direction. You know you can. They say it takes hard work, and yes, it does, but. <laughs> All the hard work in the world won't help you out if you're going 100 miles an hour in the wrong direction. And then the final thing you need is the right tools, that being the knowledge, the coaching, the mentors, and actually the physical tools to do the things you want to do. And then once you have those, you have to take action now, today. You have to be all in 
knowing what it is you really want. And you got to remember, though, we have infinite potential. We serve an unlimited and infinite God. And so because of that, because we're ch- children of the King, we have infinite and unlimited potential. What are you going to do with your potential? What am I going to do with my potential? That both excites and terrifies me. We need to become purpose-oriented. We have to operate our life like a business. So a business has a plan. They know what their goal is and what their purpose is, and they work towards that, creating impact for other people in order to bring the returns that they want. And in order to have a fulfilling life, we have to operate ourselves like that as well. Know what we want, know what we're about, know what our purpose is, the impact that we want to have in the world, and be live like someone who is purpose-oriented. You've got a compass, point it to due north, and start walking. You've got to become mentally tough as well and reject rejection because you're going to be rejected. We're all rejected more often than not, and that's okay. There's billions of people in the world, and we can't serve everybody. We just have to find the ones that we can serve and serve them the best way possible. So reject rejection. Like Don't allow rejection to negatively affect you. It's not about you. It's about them. Condition yourself for success through continuous training and improvement. That's what my memberships are about. The Level Up Book Club membership and Next Level Mastermind for Men. Those are both conditioning for success through continuous training and improvement. It's, it, it is. That's, that's what it's about. For myself first and then dragging, not dragging, like <laughs> bringing others along with me. I want to surround myself with other people who are chasing success with everything they've got. And that's why I created those memberships because I want to surround myself with other people. His next point is work to learn, not for the money. So if you if you only work for the money, then yeah, you'll get some money, but you don't learn as much. But if you work to learn, the money follows. He talks about having multiple streams of income and passive income, which is not always passive, but you know, if you can have those multiple streams of income, then that really takes your life to the next level. The next thing is mastering the power of influence and persuasion. And you know, a salesman need the influence and persuasion in in their life. And we are all salesmen, whether you are an employee or you have your own job, or even if you don't work, you know. Or, or even if you don't have a paying job, I should say. A stay-at-home mom has to master the in, the art, the power of influence and persuasion. She's got to persuade that two-year-old to eat peas. You know, I've got to persuade my clients why my deck building services are better than the next guy's or why they need the outdoor kitchen. Or in my coaching business, I have to persuade my clients why this next level mastermind can help them achieve the success that they want in life. And that's called investigative selling. Like we have to dig deep into what the client wants. And then honestly, of course, but present what you have to offer as a solution, as the vehicle that can get them to what they want in life. You need to pre-plan and prepare, and there's 10 steps to doing that. Make a to-do list, and you have to prioritize it. That's your plan. And an action does not equal results. So that's why you prioritize it. Just because you're acting doesn't mean that it is the right action. Then there's prospecting. You've got to talk to people. Go out and figure out who needs your services and ask for referrals. You know, social media is a great way to prospect as well. Number three is to build rapport. Build strong relationships with people that can help you out. Four is strategic questioning and listening, asking great questions. Those are things that draw people in. Number five is magnetic presentation. You have to move the people to a yes. Ask yes questions. Don't ask a question you don't know the answer to. Always move them to yes. Number uh, The next one is learning to negotiate. Seven is the art of closing the sale. 
the next is following up and following through. And then, and there's, um, foundational structures for that. And then last of all is getting the referrals and you have to think big in life. Like think as big as you can and then think bigger. <laughs> if you don't have a dream, you can't have it come true. So you have to think of the wildest, craziest thing that you want in life. Like what, what would be the ultimate life for you? And then make that your goal. Like think big, think bigger, make it a massive dream and trust your crazy ideas. Your goals should scare you. They should scare you, terrify you, but they should also excite you. Make your goal a whole new way of life. Pursue, chase after those goals. I have a buddy who I um, I met down in Georgia, and for years, you know, he he did construction. He he did the same thing I did. He worked for me often. I worked for him, helped him out on some of his projects. And the whole time, he wanted to have a mini barn business. He wanted to build mini barns, and I encouraged him to go for it. Like you need to do this thing. That's that's what you want. It's what you love. Go for it, man. And for years he didn't. And finally, you know, we we ended up moving away from Georgia. And he, a year or two later, also moved out of Georgia. But where when he moved, shortly after, he started a mini barn business. He figured out a way to get it done. And when you have dreams and goals and you keep them in front of you, even if it doesn't seem like you're moving towards it, Keep that at the forefront of your mind, but always work towards it. Eventually you can achieve it. So that, that is, that's awesome to me. Like I love seeing people start what they've dreamed of starting. And I can't wait to see the massive success that his business will become. The next thing is to the, to take from the day. Don't just go through the day. Take from the day. What am I going to get from today? Okay. When you wake up in the morning, you know, instead of writing a to-do list to get you through the day, write down a to-get list. What am I going to get from the day? I'm going to get $600 by working on this job today, or I'm going to get whatever that thing is for you. Get from the day. And there is a gap between getting what you got and getting what you want or getting what you get and getting what you want. If you just go through the day, you get what you get. But if you take from the day, you get what you want because you've pre-planned. You've decided the thing that you will get. There's no such thing as balance in life. If you want to achieve success, there is no balance. It's all in, all in. You have to get real to get rich. And life is not all about getting rich, but it helps. (laughs) Uh, You need recurring income where you can work once and get paid over and over and over and over. That's one of the, in today's economy, that's one of the things that drives the, the most success is getting paid over and over and over for the thing that you've created once. You need equity, businesses, real estate, investments, assets, and those that equity needs to grow or appreciate over time. Go all in, full throttle. There's several things that you can leverage to uh, in in creating life and business that you want. First off is OPT. That's other people's time. You know, you you me. I'm a solopreneur, so I leverage my own time, and that's not much of a lever. Next, the next step is leveraging other people's time where I hire people to work for me. And if I have five guys working and they each make $20 an hour and I charge $30 an hour for them, then I'm making $10 an hour on five guys. And I don't have, and I'm not actually putting in the time for that. The next step is OPM, which is other people's money. That's where you get investors to like, say I want to get into real estate. I go find investors to buy the property. I put in the work, flip the house, turn around. I make a profit and the investors make a profit. And the next step is OPC or other people's contacts. Who do they know that I can contact and work with? To be in business, you need a desire and a willingness to act. 
Like you have to act. You got to get into action. We talk about it all the time. Just take the next step. Do the next thing. Pick one thing. Do that thing. Go to the next thing. Go to the next thing. Make sure it's the right thing that will move you forward in life. And you've got to decide what you want. You know, what, what is it that you want in life? You know, for me, do I want a construction business, a farm, a real estate business, a, a laundromat with my wife, help my wife with her cleaning business, a maintenance business, a coaching business, and a podcast? <sighs> you know, eventually that's too many things. And I have to learn to combine the things that I want and move forward on that and let the rest go. You also need an experienced mentor, somebody who's been there, done that, created the success that you are trying to to have in life. You need to create a plan and apply the leverage that we talked about, the other people's time, other people's money, other people's contacts. Master the skills that it takes to run a business, to achieve that success. And you need to execute the plan and you'll achieve the financial freedom. And financial freedom is a huge you know, that's one of the big things that we talk about. It's something that I am chasing. I have not achieved it. I'm far from it. But that's something that drives me. Like, I want financial freedom because it's going to allow me to do so many more things in life to have the impact that I want to have in life. When I'm tied down by my finances, I can't do the things that I want to do that I need to do to create the impact that I want to have in life. There's a, there's a lot of things that hold you back. There's a fear of failure. Now, we've got to get over that because we're going to fail. We just need to fail forward faster. More failure, faster, and that will move you forward. We also fear the pain of change. We, we don't want to do the work. We fear self-doubt. Like, I can't do it. We fear, or another thing that holds us back is blaming other people, blaming other situations, blaming things. Uh, we, we justify and validate our feelings of like, oh, I don't want to. And then, then we complain. Oh, man, it's just not fair. And then the next thing that holds us back is a lack of skills. And in today's world, you can find the skills that you need. You can create, you can learn the skills for free often. What you do is greater than what you know. Okay, so you have to know in order to do, but if you if you just know and you don't do, then the knowing doesn't do any good. I've heard it said this way, he who does not read has no advantage over him who cannot read. And if him who, him who um, doesn't use his knowledge is no better than him who doesn't know the knowledge. That, that's another way to put that. So learn the thing, apply the thing, and that will move you closer to the success you want in life. Work on becoming 1% better every single day. You have to change and become better. A 1% increase or a 1% better every day makes you 37 times better over the course of the year with compounding interest. Think about that for a second. If you can become 1% better every single day, you'll be 37 times better by the end of the year. That's incredible. Compounding interest. I love it. And you have to fall in love with no. Say no to things that don't line up with what you want in life. I was just talking with a friend yesterday about joining the mastermind. And he, he told me that recently he's turned down some incredible opportunities because that's not what he's chasing right now. You know, it was very tempting. It was money. It was, it was a lot of things that, that could really help him out in life. But it's not what he wanted, so he said no. And I admire that. I respect that. It's awesome. We have to learn to say no when it's not taking us down the path that we want to go. We've got to expect rejection. You know, the <laughs> rejection it happens all the time. Okay, we have to get the the you out of failure. You know, I am not the failure because I'm rejected. It's okay that it's not about me. Most of the time, it's not about me. It's about something else that they're going through. Then you have to make change. Create change. Try something new. Just do different things if, if what's, what you're doing isn't working. You've got to invest in yourself. Buy motivational materials. Take courses. Invest in coaching. Learn new things. YouTube University. If you don't have any money to invest, spend time on YouTube watching things that will level up your skills in life. And then you need to talk to positive people. 
You know, listen to great podcasts. Put put good things in your ears. Find people that are talking and about and doing things that will help you move forward to your to accomplishing and achieving your dreams and goals in life. You need to uh, manage your mental input. Okay, so like. You know, the music that you listen to, the podcasts that you listen to, the, the movies you watch, the, the radio stations, all of those things. If it's not serving you, kick it to the curb. Okay, if it's not moving you forward, turn off the news for Pete's sake. Turn off the news that's not serving you. That clogs up the mental gears in your mind. If you know anything about machinery, you know that gears have to be well oiled. Okay. There, if you have gears and you throw a bunch of sand in the gears and that clogs it up and it does not work right, it grinds to a halt very quickly. You, that's what those negative things do. If it doesn't serve you, that's that sand in the gears of your mind. So oil the gears of your mind with positive inputs, with things that will move you in the direction of the life you want to live. Be careful what you eat. You have to manage your energy. You got to get proper exercise. And you need to ask the right questions to the right people in order to create that extraordinary life. When, when there's something that you would need to accomplish, you need to achieve, and you don't know how to do it or don't have the time to do it, there's three questions you can ask yourself. Who will do what? When? How much will it cost? And how fast can they get it done? That's four questions. My bad. The next thing is to work harder on yourself than you do on your dreams, than you do on your goals. Because if you make the man right, you make the world right. You heard that in one of my other episodes. That's that's a David Kaufman saying. You fix the man and you fix the world. So those that's that's it for today. I know I, I took two episodes to cover like 10 other speakers and then one episode for Omar Periyu. But it was it was such an amazing experience hearing him speak hearing his story and the things he had to say wow i when when he made the offer to join his coaching program i was there i was all in and i'm excited because as of when i'm recording this in about five hours i have a coaching call with him so i get to spend one whole hour with him one-on-one just learning from him learning from his successes and getting some advice some guidance I hope that you find somebody that inspires and motivates you much like Omar Perry, you inspired and motivated me. And then sit at the feet of that person, learn from them, pay them if you have to find a coach or a mentor. You know, they're not all going to be free. Some of them are going to be paid. Some of them are going to be free, but you have to find the people that have done the things that you want to do and learn from them and then apply it. And then achieve the success that you want in life. Do good work. <laughs>